You got everything? Thank you. Okay, number seven, discussion on possible action on C H and C. Silva de la Cruz. I'm with the Office of Council Member Mitchell O'Farrell. How are you guys doing? But I'm also a neighbor. I live right over here at Delonquay and Cherokee. <coughs> and uh, Dan, uh, our Hollywood Field Deputy Dan Halden is, was not able to make it, so he asked me to stop by and bring his monthly report that he prepares every month for the council member and for community members. There's a lot of great information uh, with all, regarding all the work that the council member and Dan is working on in the Hollywood community. Um, we have a, I'm not sure if you're aware, but we have a community clean team that's been doing a lot of work. We've been doing some light tree pruning, pruning on Leland and McCadden and Las Palmas. Um, and we're organizing a community cleanup and a community outreach event on Saturday, October 24th. That information is right here. And um, also, there was a couple of, uh, it's kind of dark. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Leland over there by McCadden and Las Palmas. It's kind of a yes. dark area, but it's getting some... It's making some really good improvements, and I recently reached out to the Department of Water and Power and asked and requested that they, that they install lights on some of the utility poles, so they went out and did that, so that was good. Uh, there's three street lights that are out currently, and I sent the message to Ur uh, Bureau of Urban, uh, uh, Bureau of Street Lights, and we're gonna look into that, because there's three, three, we gotta get those street lights on there to keep, uh, keep our neighborhoods safe. But we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, as I mentioned, uh, We've been doing cleanups. We've been doing illegal, illegal dumping cleanups and neighborhood cleanups from the river all the way to Hollywood, and we're doing that five days a week. Um, my contact information is here also. If you, yeah. So right now on McCadden, at the end of McCadden and Longbury, there is a. Uh, it's not a vehicle, but it has wheels, and it's been there for a week. The LAPD will not touch it. Um, I called three one one. The city will not touch it. The LAPD told me that I could not go out and throw the stuff away and disassemble it, or it, the individual that claims to own it could sue me. Oh, come on. Come on. So, do you want to, can you take a photo of that with your side hand? Right, right here. Would you like to see it? Yes. Yes. Um, and as far as the trees on the cabin, when have they done that? The tree, the, well, we did some light tree pruning on, on our cabin, actually on the long tree and up my cabin, just a little bit of light pruning ourselves. I actually get a pickup truck and, and tools and go out once a week myself. Um, but I think that Dan wants to get um, some real uh, Bureau of Urban Forestry tree pruning in that neighborhood. That's the real stuff that we really need. And, um, but as I mentioned, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be coming out on the 24th. The council member is gonna be here himself. Most of his staff members were working with that neighborhood to create a neighborhood watch group. And I'm going to do some outreach to the Hollywood High School. It's their community too. We've got to get them involved, right? And uh, my contact information is here. If you ever see anything untidy in the neighborhood, take a picture of it and send it to me in an email. Um, any issue at all, it's like, you know, Council Member O'Farrell works seven days a week. We work nights, we work weekends. It's just all of our public service. Reach out to us. Our contact info is right here. Uh, these reports have a lot of great stuff. And, um, and I'm going to leave these over here for you guys, okay? Please pick one up. Uh, so that's the very first discussion with the council office about what the next street you know, see the new street you designated in the first street. Um well I know Hollywood Boulevard is, is the main street right now. The main street is uh, gonna be one of the initial beneficiaries of the that's the mayor's that initiative. Last that's the mayor's initiative, right? Yeah, but, but I think that the council people do have some input in which streets in each council district will be a great street because of me. Yeah. I mean, you know, has any discussion taken place in your well, I'm, I'm sure there I'm sure there has. 
Um, do you know Dan Holden? Yeah, no, but I mean, you're here tonight. I'm asking. Well, you. I'm not familiar with that as well as he might be. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm the community organizer for the Office of Council Member Mitchell Farrell. Once a month, I organize community outreach events to go door to door with the council member, with our senior lead officers, and with volunteers and all most of the staff members. Every single month, we do that. Um, I also oversee the council members' clean community clean teams, right? and uh, that's that's my my position on staff. Okay, so you have no real knowledge. I mean, I'm familiar with it a little bit. I don't know a lot of the details, but um, you're welcome to reach out to Dan Holden. Dan Holden is the field deputy for the Hollywood community. So any any neighbor, you know, any quality of life issues, any neighborhood crime issues, infrastructure, things like that, you know, please reach out to Dan. He's probably going to have a lot more details about it than, than I would. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Public comments on items not on the agenda. Yeah. Okay, uh, George Abrahams, uh, stakeholder member of the Public Committee, ABRAHA. Uh, during your meeting, it came to our attention that the Hollywood Design Review Committee is still holding meetings. Uh, there's a lawsuit against it uh, initiated by me and also a member of the East Hollywood Neighborhood Council Board. Um, community members and the Neighborhood Council Board members are being from the meetings. And the meetings, uh, I think that the Central uh, Hall Labor Council should bring it up as an agenda item to uh, uh, write a letter to Council of Federal objecting to the policy of these meetings, not to be publicly noticed or open to the public. That's a nice Thank you. Are there any other comments? Uh, good evening, I'm Rudy Gonzalez. This is my partner, Laura Rodriguez. Uh, we're the new gang intervention here in, in East Hollywood. Uh, we just wanted to make ourselves known here and uh, find a way where we can get on the agenda for the next, for your next meeting, so we can speak more about our um, our agency and let you guys know more in detail about it. But we're here uh, just to represent today. Right. Do you have a card? Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. this aspect right here? Yeah. Any other public comments? Last month, it took us an hour and a half until we got to our business because we met speakers from different community meetings come and talk to us about things in the valley, et cetera, et cetera. Nothing to do with us. If people want to talk to us about their problem, let it, them do it after we settle our discussion not make us wait an hour and a half to do what they have.